Hello everyone. So we're gonna make this all vintage film effect and we won't use any plugins, just the basic after effects effect effects. So we're gonna start by add to our animation an adjustment layer which I'm gonna recall blur and I'm gonna take a Gaussian blur and just put it to six just to make all the animation a kind of a little blurry. Then I'm gonna add a glow and make the threshold with 75, the red is a little bigger for the white to be more blurry and maybe the intensity a little less and that's not bad. So I'm gonna create another adjustment layer which I'm gonna recall grain dust and for all the noise, the grains, the fudge and the dusts, I'm gonna use the same effect which is in noise and grain and is fractal noise. Fractal noise gives you this kind of shape and you see that it isn't animated at the beginning. So to animate it, you can use the evolution and I'm gonna add an expression to it so I'll click the chronometer and I'm just gonna set time by a big number because I want it to go fast so 2500 and you see that is really fast I'm gonna go to the transfer menu put the scale to 5 maybe 4 and I get the snowy snowy TV feature I'm gonna change the blending mode to multiply and maybe change the opacity to 50. So here I get my grain and it's not bad. I will call this fractal nose grain. I duplicate it, call this one fudge and I won't do a lot of thing to it. I will just move the scale to 200 and the opacity to, to to 25. Now I'm gonna duplicate again this fudge, call it black dust, and I'm gonna make the scale to 50. I deactivate the grain and fudge to see what I'm doing. I will put the opacity to 100 and I will rise contrast and the brightness until I get just a few dots on my screen maybe a little more something like that it's not bad and I will do the same with white dust so I'm gonna change the blending mode to add and lower the brightness something like that okay of course there is a lot of fine tuning in all these numbers because it depends on exactly what kind of vintage you want to do but I guess it's okay for now so now I want to add some scratches so I will just make a vertical line very high and go to the position right click separate dimension and I will make it above the composition at the beginning and at five seconds maybe below the composition so I just get the line that falls and I'm gonna add an expression to the exposition which will be wiggle wiggle is a way of wiggling whatever parameter you want so it will randomly move so here it goes wiggle between the parentheses you need to add further frequency 
than the amplitude. So here it will be 0.5, comma, I guess 2500. So now you see your line. I'm gonna get the line. So now you see your line is randomly moving on the horizontal axis. And I don't want it to enter in the screen like that, so I will make it start just there. And I don't want it either to fall from the composition, so I will make it stop there. So I want the stroke to be very less, maybe one. And I also want the scratch to be a little burnt. So I will add the roughen edges, uh, which kind of roughen your edges. The number of pixels that are roughened is controlled by border, so I will make it one, I think. That's not bad, it's a bit much, so 0.5 It's not bad, and I will add the complexity of the roughen, and it's kind of nice. And here I got my scratch. And what is cool with the scratch that you only have to duplicate it and make it elsewhere for you to get to scratch. And it won't be at the same place or doing the same thing because of the wiggle. So I can make maybe four white scratches and I will Duplicate it again, make the stroke black. And duplicate and change the timing a bit. Something like that. And I take all my scratches and pass the opacity to 50 for it to melt a little bit with the rest the animation and I think I'm almost done. I will add some kind of vignette. So creating a solid black. I double click on the ellipse tool for it to make a mask the size of your solid. I put the solid above everything. Invert the mask. I'm going to increase the feather to maybe 750 and I'm going to put the opacity to 75 Oh no, I'm going to let it to 100 and I get this nice vignette, old vignette look which is not bad but it's it has darkened all my animations so I will add the final adjustment layer above everything with an exposure effect to 1 and now we're done thank you for listening please subscribe and excuse my French